Welcome to Touch Technology Review today, a brief tutorial on how to create a thumbnail for IGTV. This sounds really straightforward, but there's a few things you need to keep in mind in order to make sure that you've got the best possible thumbnail that's compliant with IGTV. We're going to take a look at the specifications in terms of the file size and dimensions, and we're also going to take a look at the title safe area, how to put the typography on the thumbnail so that it appears in the right manner, both in the Instagram feed and also on IGTV. For those of you with a desktop computer, I'm going to show you how to do it in Photoshop. And those of you working on a mobile phone, I'm going to show you how to do it using Snapseed, which is an amazing photo editor, which I've covered on the channel before. So if you want to see more information about how to use the entire app, I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. But for today's tutorial, let's go ahead and check out how to create a thumbnail for IGTV. So we're going to start this tutorial with Photoshop. If you happen to have any other photo image editor, you can follow along and set up your template as I'm describing in this tutorial. But I'm going to show you in Adobe Photoshop, which is part of the Creative Cloud suite of software first and then we'll come back to Snapseed later on. The first thing you need to know is that the cover photo you choose can't be edited after upload. So make sure that you get this right in the first instance because you can't go back and edit it after the fact. So to help you get it right, we're going to talk about the dimensions and that title safe area that I mentioned earlier. First of all, you can simply upload a 9 by 16 portrait format image and provided it's less than four megabytes in size, it's going to upload just fine. However, the actual dimensions that are displayed in Instagram's IGTV platform aren't exactly 9 by 16 to match your video. They're actually 420 by 654 resolution, which is an aspect ratio of 1 to 1.55. So to create your new document, go to File, New, custom image on the left hand side, make sure your orientation is in the portrait format and make your width 420 pixels and your height 654 pixels. Resolution can be 72 DPI and then click on create. Drag the image that you want to use as part of your thumbnail onto your blank canvas. Now, if you're happy just to upload a basic image, a screenshot of the video, to your IGTV, that's all you have to do. Save it down and go ahead and upload directly into IGTV as a custom thumbnail and you're ready to go. But for most of us, we generally want to add a title in order to make the thumbnail more appealing. So let's have a look at the title safe areas next. So I've created a Photoshop file which will show you your title safe area in both the Instagram feed and the IGTV feed. As you can see, there is a square area in the center which will display on the Instagram feed, which is in square format. And in order to understand that, you can use the guides in Photoshop and measure our pixels. So from the top of the screen down to the top region of our safe area is 110 pixels. Keep in mind when you're using guides in Photoshop and you're working with digital media, you need to go into your preferences units and rulers and make sure that you have your units set to pixels. Make sure it's not set to inches, centimeters or any of the other options in the rulers section. If your rulers aren't showing in the document, go to view rulers or command R to bring up the rulers. Drag down the guide to the 110 pixel point and then drag down a second guide 530 pixels vertically from the top. So that's going to give us a vertical height of 420 to match the horizontal width of 420. And that is a perfect square for displaying the thumbnail in your Instagram feed. And I've also created a ruler 20 pixels from the left and 20 from the right to complete our title safe area. So make sure when you're placing your typography onto the image that it sits within this region so that it won't get cut off anywhere either on the IGTV display or on the Instagram feed. And just above that section, you'll notice that I've placed a video playhead indicator along with a time frame. This will be placed on top of your thumbnail when it's uploaded into Instagram and it will show the point at which the user 
last viewed your video. So when they're coming back to the video, they'll see that white line indicating at which point they last left the video and the duration of the video is displayed on the right hand side. So make sure that you're not placing any essential graphics in that section because it's going to be covered up. And just below the main title safe area, you'll see I've put in some suggested title text. Don't place this title in the thumbnail yourself. This is going to be overlaid on top of your thumbnail by Instagram and it's going to place the title of your video into this section either over one or two lines depending on how long your title actually is. So that's it. Once you've completed your layout, save your image down as a JPEG. Make sure it doesn't exceed the four megabyte limit, which it certainly won't because it's a JPEG. It's going to be anywhere from three or four hundred kilobytes to one megabyte. Save it down and then you can upload directly into Instagram. By the way, if you want to learn how to upload your IGTV videos and thumbnails using the Facebook Creator Studio, I've actually created a tutorial on that and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below also. So now let's go ahead and take a look how to do this on your mobile phone using the freely available Snapseed app, which you can get on both the Apple App Store and Google Play. So go ahead and download it if you haven't got a copy already. I'm going to show you two ways of doing this, the very simple and easy way and a slightly more sophisticated process where you want the exact dimensions the way I showed you in Photoshop earlier. To start with, we're going to find our image, tap on the plus icon and import it into Snapseed. As you can see, it's completely the wrong orientation, the wrong crop. It won't be able to be uploaded into IGTV in this current format. But the first thing we're going to do is crop our image. Tap on the tools icon below, tap on the crop icon and scroll along to the end till you get 16 by nine and then use the rotate tool in the bottom menu area to flip it to a nine by 16 ratio crop portrait mode and then use your finger to slide that crop anywhere on the image to the appropriate section and then tap on the tick icon. But if you are looking for pixel accuracy, and much more flexibility in the layout options and the ability to add typography onto your image, I would suggest checking out Canva, which is also a free app, which you can download from the App Store. And you can go in and create an image of custom dimensions and add your own photos or choose from a range of stock library photos. And you can create really colorful, dynamic and sophisticated layouts using the Canva app. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this information informative. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel and you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one. Bye for now.